having hosted and been a part of going to Taiwan is something that um, you can't get in school. You just can't. You can learn about the culture, you can watch it on YouTube, um, but there's something about the relationships. By bringing them into our home, we got firsthand experience and all of those relationships and the things that we took them to do, that will always be something that they remember. My experience with the program has been amazing. I've gotten me a lot of new people. I thought it was a once in a lifetime opportunity to go to another country and they treated me like pretty much like family, like I was one of their own. We've hosted three students, two the first time and one the second time, and we still have a relationship with those students even though it's been several years ago. My, my daughter still Snapchats the girls and um, she communicates the, with them on a regular basis and talks about you know the experiences that they're having. It's still a relationship that we have and um, hold dear. My favorite part about hosting is just getting to know the kids because really no matter where you're from, you know, kids are kids and they they have the same desire to have fun and socialize and um, you, it's fun to get to learn what they think is interesting or um, that they want to go do and, and nine times out of ten it's the same thing our kids would want to go do. And you learn even more things in common, then you really have difference. We grew closely because, I mean, we, we kind of hung out all the time. He, I would come home and we would all come together and we would just talk and play video games and just hang out all night. You know, you get family time and dinner time and um, talking about different things and taking them to do things that they wanted to experience. And it was something that was my goal to make sure that they felt like they were part of us. I wanted to make sure that the students got to experience a true American Texan experience. So we did a mix of things that would be, um, you know, things they wanted to do plus things that we thought they should experience while they're here. We took them to the state fair. We took them to eat at American places and shopped in an American mall. And we took them to a high school football game which um, was an experience, something that they had never had, and they got to sit in the student section and be a part of that. We also took them to an Asian market and let them pick out things they wanted us to try. Um, so that, that was a fun experience. My favorite part of our visiting was definitely the food. I've always loved Asian food and the customs, so I just fell in love with it, and the food was really good. I got to see mountains, to waterfalls, to the tallest tower in Taipei, it was amazing. I also got to make dumplings, that was interesting. I never made dumplings before, really good. I feel like that it's changed me. I've never had a group of friends like that, and especially from different cultures, so I got to learn a bunch of different things, from food to customs. My palate has grown. I like, I like to try new things now, because it just opened up my eyes. It's taught me that Everyone's the same. No matter how different you think they are, there's something in common, you just have to find it. And once you find it, that, that's the friendship. Like That's something that you can never lose, and y'all will always be close together. So if you're considering being a host family, um, I would tell you wholeheartedly, just do it. Just jump in and, and um, even if you're nervous about it or if there's anything that's making you hesitate, um, do it because you won't regret it. I think if you want something new and you want to explore in life, totally do it. It's totally worth it. It's safe. I've never had so much fun in my life. I already want to go back. <laughs> um, I just think you should give it a shot. You'll love it. <laughs>